everyone welcome back to my channel today thank you very much for all your subscriptions I really sincerely appreciate all of you if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every week today is going to be the making of this shift bustier gown with zip at the front as you can see on the screen then you can see I have my paper on here and I've made lines for my vertical measurements as you can see my shoulder measurement my bust point measurement under bust point half length and hip. I believe by now you know how to take your vertical measurements and transfer them on paper. So to begin this tutorial, we want to talk about the neckline we have on that screen. As you can see, is a kind of is a high neck. Okay, so the neck is actually high. You can see it's just on the neck. How do you determine your neckline? Okay, we have uh, this calculation of how to determine your accurate neckline. Accurate neckline. Sometimes you see, we go by the normal neckline of 3 inches by 3 inches, which is, which almost works for everybody. But I notice that it does not actually work for anybody. The 3 by 3 inches neckline we have for a high neck. Okay, so to get your actual neckline, I always advise you divide your round bust measurement by 12. Then you add 0 0.25 of an ease. What do I mean by that? In today's lesson, we are making use of a bust. We are using the bust measurement. Okay, that is the bust circumference of 39 inches that is what we are working with what do i mean by this measuring your bust round with your tape okay i have 39 inches so 39 inches i'm dividing it by 12 to get my actual neckline and for this i have 3.25 or 3 1 quarter so this 3 1 quarter i have here that is what I'm supposed to use for my neck depth and for my neck width. But I'm going to add plus a quarter. That is plus 2.5 to it. Okay, so I'll be having 3.5 inches. So with this 3.5 inches depth and 3.5 inches width, when transferred to your to neckline, definitely you will get an accurate neck line that will not be choking you and all that so let us transfer this 3.5 inches to our neckline right now so this is my center front for this lesson today and this is my shoulder line so having my center front and my shoulder line as usual i'm going to place my tape and i'm taking the measurement of 3.5 inches that is my neck width I'll also place my tape at that point and I'm going to take the measurement of 3.5 which will serve as my neck depth. Now I have my neck depth and my neck width so I'm going to connect it with my curve ruler, good curve depth. You can see that. So the next thing we are going to do right now is to take the measurement of our shoulder and for this lesson, we are making use of a shoulder of 15 inches. When divided by 2, I have 7.5. You know why? Because we are working on the half of the front bodies. Now, on that point, I'm going to drop my shoulder by 1 inch. This is usual. Dropping by 1 inch works back for so many adults. And then I'm going to slant my shoulder from that point you can see now the next thing we want to do is to determine our chest line determining our chest line you can or our armhole depth line 
our arm hole, arm hole depth, you need to take the measurement of your round arm hole. Okay, you take it, take it firmly and divide by two. Or you can also use your bust. You know, we are making use of a bust circumference of 39 inches. So this 39 inches, I'm going to divide by 6 plus 1.5. Okay, so whatever thing you have as your bust circumference, divide it by 6, add 1.5, and you will be left, for this less thing, I have 8 inches. So having that 8 inches, I'm going to place my tape where I drop my shoulder, and I'll be taking the measurement of 8 inches. Remember, I drop my shoulder by 1 inch, and I'll be placing my tape, 1 plus 8, I have 9 I'm doing this because I need to get a straight line. So I'll be placing my ruler as you can see right now and I'm going to create my chest line. So this is my chest chest. Now that I have my chest line, I need to transfer the measurement of my shoulder divide by 2 which I have at 7.5 because I need to also get a straight line here, so I'll be drawing my this depth right now. So remember this armhole depth we have 8 inches. The midpoint is 4 inches. And I'll go in because it's the front bodies. I'm going in by 0 0.75 or 0 0.75 or 3 quarter. So at this point of 0 0.75 for the front, which is standard and will give you a good fit also. So I'm co connecting to that midpoint. Next thing I'm going to do is to take the measurement of my bust circumference divided by 4. So the measurement of my bust circumference divided by 4, placing my tape on the, on the chest line, I have 9 3 quarter and I'll make a mark at 9 3 quarter. So at this point of 9 3 quarter, I'm placing my curve ruler, my armhole curve in my pattern master. You can see it's touching this point and it's also touching this point. Then I make my curve. You can see I have my armhole that's right now. Now I'm going to take the measurement of my under bust. I have an under bust measurement of 35 inches. Alright, so before I, I take the measurement of my under bust, round under bust and my waistline, I want to place my darts. Okay, so to place my darts, I make... Next is the bust pan measurement, which is the measurement from one nipple to the other. And for this tutorial, I have 7 inches for it. So these 7 inches, I'm going to divide it by 2 by placing my tape on the bust point. 7 divided by 2, I have 3.5. So I have to transfer this 3.5 from the bust point down to the waist, to the full length. This is the measurement of my bust pan, which is 7 inches divided by 2. I have 3.5. So I took this 3.5 all the way from the bust point down to the down. Now I've gotten my bust pan measurement divided by two and I ran my line, my that leg line down to the hem. So the next thing we are going to do is to impute our that. But before we do that, I want to work on my armhole right now because we are going to have an armhole princess that here. So to get the armhole arm princess that, I'm going to take the measurement of this armhole. As you can see, you can see how I'm placing my tape. What am I trying to do? Just to get the exact measurement of my armhole. And here I have 10 inches. So I have to get the midpoint of 10 inches. And I have 5 inches at this point. Can you see that? This is my midpoint of this armhole. So at this very point we are going to construct our armhole armhole princess that. So coming over to the that, that leg, remember this is my bust point. 
I'm going to come down from my bust point. I'm coming down by 1.5. Can you see? Then at that point of my under bust, I'm going to come out this way. I'm coming out this way by 0 0.5. And I'll take my remaining darts from that way. I'm taking my remaining darts at 1.5. Remember, everything we have here is 2 inches. So for this particular 39 inches bust, round bust measurement, we are using a bust cup of 2 inches. Okay, so that is why you see me come out by 0 0.5. Then the remaining of, of the that, I imputed it on this side by the side of the pattern. So now I'm going to connect these lines right now. So I'm connecting my 1.5, I'm connecting it to the 0 0.5 as you can see. I believe you are seeing what I'm doing here. Then I'm connecting this to this, to the 1.5. Can you see that? Alright. So now I'm going to connect to the bus point. I'm connecting this armhole divided by 2. So I'll be placing my curve ruler this way. Can you see that? Passing through the boss points. Can you see? To form the armhole princess that. Then I'll come out by one inch. Okay, you can see the armhole princess that right now. Okay, so what am I going to do next? I need to blend this point because there is no sharp edge. Can you see? I'm blending this point okay all right so now you can see i've blended my points and coming over to the half length i'll also do the same i have 0 0.5 this way and i'll put the remaining 1.5 this way so what does that mean that means i'm having the same thing on the boss points is transferred to the half length you can see that okay so I'm going to rule out cut off this shaded part is not part of this drafting today I'm going to cut it off as you can see now now coming to the hip I'm also going to so to the hip this is my hip right now and this is my bust pan divided by two. So for this point of the hip, I'm going to come up by three inches because I have a long, a long height of my hip. Okay. You can also come up by two inches for the, for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm coming up here by three inches. So at this point of three inches, I'm going to connect what I have at the half length. Now you see that I'm connecting the 0 0.5 to the 3 inches and I'll also connect the 1.5 to the 3 inches. You can see that. So I'm going to also shade it because this is not part of this drafting. Please take note. So we are going to cut off this part. Alright, so you can see what we have now. So the next thing we are going to do for this pattern is to impute our under bust measurement. I have an under bust measurement of 35 inches and I'm going to divide it by 4 because I'm working on a quarter of my bodies. So 35 divided by 4, I have 8 3 quarter. So I'm going to take my measurement of 8 3 quarter starting right at my under bust. So at this point, I already have 3 inches. And I will move the 3 to this point to get my 8 3 quarter. I believe you understood what I did. I already have 3 inches to this point. Okay? This is not part of our work. So I move the 3 inches to this point and I mark my under bust measurement. So I'm going to do the same. This is 3 inches also. I also move it again to have my 3 8 3 quarter. So now I'm going to connect these lines. I'm going to connect. Remember, this is my bust circumference of 39 divided by 4. 
and I have nine three quarter. So I'm going to connect this nine three quarter to my under bust measurement. So I'll be placing my my ruler. So the next thing I'm going to do, remember this princess that I came out from this point by one inch. Okay, why did I come out by one inch? To accommodate this princess that so that I will not have any shortage so since I came out by one inch I'm going to replace the one inch here also okay I'm replacing the one inch there also so at this point of one inch I'm going to connect it to what I have here and connect it to this point then coming to my hip I have a hip of 46 inches divided by 4 I have 11.5 then coming to the full length, whatever thing I got here, at this point I have 11.5. Remember there is no dart here to, to take away. So I'm taking my full measurement of 11 and half. Then I'll transfer 11 and half. I'll transfer whatever I have here down to the full length. So I'll be transferring the 11 and half. I'm transferring it down to this. So I'm going to make my connections right now. So I'm going to connect from this one inch I added because of this intake. I'm add connecting from this bus point to my under bus. Then I'm going to take what I have there down to my waist. From the waist, I'm going to place from my waist the measurement to from my half length to my waist then having done that I'm going to connect from the waist down to the down to the full length can you see that all right so now having achieved this we are going to place our balls that okay we've talked about the length of the bus that of the front length being longer than the back length so many times because of the bust we have a longer front the difference between my back length and my front length is two inches and i'll be placing it at the bus point the two inches i'm placing it here okay and i have two inches there so at this point of two inches i'm connecting it straight to my Bus point, and I need to divide this into divide it by two. Sorry, I'm dividing by two, and I'll also connect and come out by 0 0.75 or three quarters. So I'll be taking the measurement of the three quarter. I have three quarter at this point. So I'll be connecting this to this. Then I'll connect this back to the chest line. Why am I doing this? To accommodate this that when we close it up it needs to be accommodated so now that we have our front bodies we have completed our front bodies right now so if you look at that pattern you can see it has a pocket okay so we are going to drop this pocket right into on this pattern right now so I'm going to take this pocket measurement right from my half length I'll be coming down by 2 inches, so I'll be placing my tail, this is my 2 inches, that's where my pocket is starting. So I'll be coming from that, I have 6 inches opening for this pocket. But looking at this pocket, you can see this pocket is an outer pocket, okay? We are going to trace out this pocket, it's an outer pocket, then it will be placed on top of this outfit. So what do I mean by that? So I'm going to design this pocket right now and I'm going to design it to touch this line as you can see because the pocket is going to be sewn right into this line. So let me demonstrate it for you to see. Alright, so I'm going to design this pocket like I said before, I came down from the half length 2 inches okay let me indicate it i came down by two inches and my pocket opening is six inches 
all right so i'm going to design this pocket because it's an outer pocket like i said before and it's going to touch b it's going to be sewn right into the seam line so i'll be taking my my curve rule this way and i flip it to this point okay so that is my pocket right now then looking at this pocket you can see i just want to create a little design to it So I'm going to create a little design. Now I have my pocket. Okay, so I'll be going in by 3.5. I'll make my mark. So I'll be placing my curve rule in this manner because I want to create a little design like I said before. So I'm placing my curve rule. This is the design I need and that is how I want it to be. So at this point, I'm creating my design. Can you see that? Then at this point, I will be having a button. Okay, you can see my button. Just I have a little button here. You can see that now. Okay. So with this button I have now, this is my pocket. So what am I going to do? I need to trace out this pocket right now. I'll be placing my tracing paper and I'm going to trace out this pocket and set it aside. Remember, this pocket is going to be sewn. That is why we are, we are connecting it to the dart. It's going to be sewn right into the dart. So I'll also trace exactly what I had before. Because the pocket is going to be an outer pocket, not the one you find inside. Okay, so I'm tracing exactly the shape I have here. Okay, then after that, I'll be adding a seam allowance to it. Okay, before I do that, I'll have to fold my paper. So I'll be, I have to get the shape of these six inches. So at this point of these six inches, at this point, I'm going to fold in my paper. What am I trying to achieve right now? So as you are folding in, make sure you have it exactly here. Okay, so as I folded my paper here, because this design is going to flip up okay it's going to come up this way in my design don't worry when i finish you will see what i'm doing can you see okay so this is exactly the kind of pockets we are going to have on that outfit so i still have my button i'm going to have a button packed to this point you can see that now okay so I'm going to take away and cut off then set my pattern aside now you can see I've cut off my pattern okay this is my pocket pattern I've cut it off so I'm going to add my seam allowances and this is how I'll be adding this pocket can you see that so it will just flip this part is going to and i'll use my button and pack it while i still have my pocket opening here you can see that so i'm going to stitch put my seam allowances stitch this way that way add my seam allowance to sew together with my dad so this pocket is going to be like this so you can see how beautiful the pocket is looking already so i'm going to set this aside now i want to close my bust that to complete the front bodies of this shift bust tear gown but sorry you remember it is not a it's not a fitted gown so it's a shift gown so before this pocket we are supposed to add our we are going to add our ease to this okay so that was a little uh, error so we are going to add the ease for this before we even add our 
our boss does. So let us add the is right now. Alright, so to add our is to this gun, if you look at this gun, you see it has um, some is to it. So I'm going to add from the chest line, I'm adding 0 0.5. I'll come over to the hip line, I'll add 1 inch of an is. Then I'll come to the hip line, I'm adding 2 inches to the hip line. And I'll take the 2 inches down to the half line. So that is the ease we are supposed to add even before the pocket and the closing up our buzz that. So let us add the ease right now. I've added 1.5 so I'm going to connect this 1.5 right to the 1 inch. You can see that I've connected it right to the 1 inch. Then the next thing we are going to do is to connect the 1 inch to the 2 inches. Then from this point of the 2 inches, we are going to take down to the full length, to another 2 inches. I believe you understand that. So this is exactly the ease we have to these garments. Okay, so like I said before, we are supposed to add this ease even before we do our boss down. So if we want to do this buzz down, repeat it once again. Okay, for clarity, I'll be taking from the two inches from this buzz point down to this point. So I'll be connecting from this point right now. I believe you will not be confused about this. Sorry about that. Then at this point, the center point, I'm coming out again. Remember, we are working on this line. So, from this point to this point. Let me zoom my camera to, for you to see. From this point to this point. That is where I'm measuring my three-quarter to accommodate my dart. So, this is my three-quarter. I'll take it back to this point. That was what we did before. This is my new chest line. So, I'm going to connect this. So, actually, we are going to cut off this that this shaded area has to be cut off okay all right so coming to this we are also going to make a little adjustment so we are taking this all the way from here to touch our ease remember everything starts from the ease the ease is part of the garment for the shift gown okay so that is where the extension is. So this design I have here, I might decide to take it this time since I have this error already. Let me take it to this point. So the same way I place my pattern, my tracing paper, that's how I'll place my tracing paper. And I'll also fold my paper this way. Okay. All right, so I need to trace this uh, this pocket back once again since we have added a 0 0.2 uh, inches uh, ease allowance for this shift gown. So for a clear or complete tutorial, I need to repeat this pocket again. But I believe you have an idea of what I'm about to do. So I have to join my paper to make sure I have um, a full pocket here. Okay, you can see that's the pocket right here and i've completed my pocket to this point okay this time is getting to this point okay so i have to place can you see how i'm doing that the same thing i did so at this point remember we want to get this shape our target is this shape that our pockets have now this particular shape i need to take this paper okay looking at this you have to allow it align can you see how it's aligned it has to align with this same line can you see that so now that you have it well aligned to this same line you have to allow it to fall okay although it, it did not actually cover so let me add paper to it and cover it up 
Okay, so I've added my pepper. Sorry about this. The pepper was not enough, but I believe you're understanding what I'm trying to do. Exactly what I did before. I'm trying to create my new pocket design. Okay, because I need to flip this up just as I showed you before to form that beautiful design. And I still maintain my button. I have my button here. You can see that. So now I want to cut off this pocket having traced it. I need to cut it off and show you how it will look like. So this is what I have as my pocket design right now. So I'll be fixing this pocket on my garment. Okay. So you can see this part is overlapping this okay it's going to be held by a button and I still have my pocket so I am going to add my seam allowances to stitch on top of this outfit I'm stitching this pocket on top not in okay I believe you understand what I mean so it means I'm going to cut my fabric this way I'll be placing my fabric add my seam allowances all through then at this point I'll be flipping it this way tack it with my button come on top of my fabric and i sew in okay i'm going to sew in then this one will be sewed in between this that when we cut it off all right so now we are done with our front bodies now remember it's a sheet gown this sheet gown always have ease that's why we added one inch ease to our half to our waist two inches to our hip then we'll drop it down the two inches to the full length and 0 0.5 for our chest Remember, this is a bustier, also a princess armhole bustier. So now I'm going to cut off this front so that we'll jump right into the, the back bag. But before I cut it off, please, I want you to take note that I have my buttons in front of this garment. Sorry, I have my zipper in front of this garment. So because I have my zipper in front of this garment, I'm going to connect my neckline to the one inch allowance i have here and i'll also connect that to my half length as you can see so now i'm going to cut off having my zip allowance let me cut off right now remember there is no seam allowance added to this pattern please there is no single seam allowance added to this pattern so remember i have my zipper here so i will not be cutting up that border line it serves that one inch serves as my zipper zipper allowance this front bodies of this pattern remember there is no seam allowance so coming over to this point, you have to stop, remember. Then I stopped and I'm taking through the princess seam. Okay, so I'll take through this princess seam to the boss point. You can see what I have for my front pattern. So now for the back pattern, for the side pattern, So getting to this point then you are going to cut off remember the extension of the three quarter to the chest line to accommodate this that where we cut it off then from this point you are going to sorry 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 there's a little connection we need to make here remember I came out from this point remember i came out by one inch okay then i replaced it by one inch so i'm i need to connect the new armhole okay please don't forget this is very important it was an omission but thank god i realized that okay so you need to connect it this is to avoid shortage of your princess that okay so you can see how i connected it right now so I'll continue my cutting 
you can see where I'm cutting from right now although I've already passed but I'm going to gum it up this is my new armhole line that is where I'm cutting from right now okay so you see what I have right now so I'll be taking away this other part now still on this part remember this shaded part needs to be cut off also so i'm cutting off this shaded area it's not part of this shift gown make sure there's no sharp point so you see what i have right now so it's time to close this boss that so to close off this boss that i'm going to cut through this point okay then i'll just you know push it in to close it up you can see i've already closed it up so i need to put my gum to close it properly okay so you can see what i have right now can you see the front part of this gown so beautiful so we have transferred this that right now to the princess line to the armhole okay so you can see it's now an armhole princess that okay you can see everything is in order so the next thing is the pocket remember we created this pocket right from this point like i told you this pocket is going to be on top of this fabric so let me pretend this is my fabric right now this is my this fabric i've cut it and i've added my 0 0.5 inch seam allowance remember there is no seam allowance added to this part because it, that is my zipper I have one inch seam allowance to it already, but by the side I'm going to add 0 0.5, sorry, one inch uh, seam allowance. So this is the pocket I have right now. Remember how I created it? So this pocket I'm going to cut my fabric this way. I'll be placing it this way, open it up, add my 0 0.5 inch all through, okay? Alright, so I'm going to uh, cut this into two because I need to sew it and open this part i'm opening this part to turn turn up this uh, this pocket okay so this side will be open i'll add my 0 0.5 seam allowance all through then i'll sew with 0 0.5 all through then i'll leave here open then turn it iron and press then i'll flip this one this one will be flipped this way so I'll place it on top of my fabric right now. I'm going to stitch on top of it, on top of it, okay? All right, I'll be stitching on top of it. Then this one, the remaining 0 0.5, I'll stitch it in as I'm stitching this to this, okay? This way. I'll stitch them in and it will be in this manner. I believe you understand what I'm doing. Don't worry, when you'll be sewing it, you'll see yeah, you understand the illustration we are trying to make here okay so we are working on the back pattern right now so i have my bust point under bust waistline hip line and full length so now you can see for the back there's a little difference from, from the back with the front remember for this back we have the front length as 16 inches so i'm placing my tape on the shoulder line and this 16 inches is serving as my half length right now for the back remember for the front it was 18 inches i told you it was longer it is longer because the front the bust is bigger at the front and the back is flat so you see i have 16 inches here and my hip for the front was 29 so whatever thing you have in the front you are going to take away two inches so since my hip is 29 i took away two inches here and for the back i have hip of 27 i believe you understand that then my full length is also affected remember we have closed it that the full length i had for the front was 44 and right now i have a full length of 42 for the back so that is the little thing I just want you to know, to take note of. Because we closed our dart with 2 inches, so it actually affected our back. So remember we used, we had um, our neckline depth for the front. The width was 3.5. Remember how we calculated that. So the same width you have in the front, 
is also the same width you are going to have for the bag so i'm going to place my tape and i'll i'll be making 3.5 inch mark then for the front because it's a back for because it's a high neck i'm using one inch for this so now i'm going to connect these three inches by one inch for my back neckline so i just want to drop my place my shoulder measurement right now the same 7.5 and we'll be dropping one inch for that for for it then at that point i'm going to make my connection for my shoulder slope remember we had 0 0.8 inches for our armhole depth to get a straight line one plus eight we have nine so i'm going to create my chest line for the back right now this is my chest line okay now i'm going to place the measurement of my shoulder 7.5 and i'm going to connect it right to my shoulder drop as you can see i'm still going to make the get the midpoint of this which is four at this point of four for the back we are going in by 0 0.5 okay so i'm going to connect this 0 0.5 then i'm going to take the measurement of my my bust divide by four and remember i have nine three quarter and at this point of nine three quarter i'm going to connect to my to create my arm hole okay so now that i have my arm hole the next thing i want to do is to impute my that so, so for the back we are not making anything serious for the back so at the half length i'm taking one in that intake so i'll be sharing in 0 0.5 0 0.5 and i will come up here by this time i'm coming coming up by two inches for the back so i'm going to connect first of all i believe you are seeing what i'm doing so i'll be connecting these two inches to the 0 0.5 remember the back is flat so the that we are using is not uh, so much then i'm going to bring this back to the bus point i'm bringing it back to the bus point from that waistline so now i need to get because i'm making an armhole princess back for the back so now it's time to create my armhole princess that for the back so i will still take the measurement of my armhole to the point i connected i still have 10 inches so 10.25 so i'm taking 5.125 so you can see that so now i'm going to connect that half of the armhole i'm connecting it back to the you can see that i've connected it back so but i need to come out by one inch to accommodate this that when i'm sewing it so this is my one inch so i'll quickly replace my one inch that here please don't forget and connect back i'm connecting to create my new my new armhole you can see that okay so remember we are also going to take the measurements of our the under the half length half length of 35 divided by 4 i have 3 here i'll flip it i have 8.75 just exactly what we did in that other one hip of 46 and quarter of it is 11 and half then i'm going to transfer my 11 and half to the hem please don't forget that this is a sheet gown remember we almost forgot in the front bodies so we are going to quickly add up from this point i have one inch i sorry i added one inch from this point to this point to create my new armhole so i'm going to add 0 0.5 so this is where i'm connecting and at this point i've taken the measurement of eight seven five remember we took off this that okay so that's how, how why i have eight three quarter here so uh, for the other one i added one inch i'll also add one inch for the front body then coming down to the hip i'm going to add two inches exactly what you added for the shift 
that is what you are going to also add for the back so i'm going to connect all these lines right now i'm connecting sorry there are so many points here please don't be confused with so many points remember i'm connecting from this point my 0 0.5 i'm connecting down to this point can you see that so just check them so that you make sure you have a nice connection here okay so i'm going to connect to my hip remember it's a shift down that we are making here a shift bust tear gown so we need ease to our gown as you can see so you can see how easy and simple this is we are done with our back bodies right now so i'm going to cut off this bodies right now i remember something very very important remember we are working on the back bodies right now and i'm going to use this one inch to sew it up it has no zipper it has no button but i need to contour this line remember the human back is not as straight as this so i'm taking one half zero uh, zero point five that's half an inch to contour and i'm going to extend this line so I'm going to contour my line. You can see from the point of half an inch to the next line. And from that point of half an inch, I'm coming down to the full length. Okay. So that at the end of the day, I will not be having some funny look at the back. So because I took away 0 0.5, I'm going to add it up here back. Remember, we didn't add it. So I'm replacing it here. So now that I replaced it there, so I have my new connection for the replacement. You can see my new connection for the replacement right now. I'll also place to the back to the hip. You can see my new connection right now. So now I'm going to cut off. Okay, watch me cut. I'm cutting i'm cutting off through my new 0 0.5 replacement which i used to contour my center back okay i'll get here i'll stop then i'll come over remember there is no seam allowance added to this please no seam allowance you will be adding your seam allowance on your fabric okay you can see i'm cutting off so i will discard this then coming to the contour line i'm going to cut off through the contour line Okay, so you can see that. So coming to the neckline right now. So I'm going to cut off through my neckline. Okay, so I'll be following this line. Please, when you get here, you have to stop, please. Okay, don't cut in through the armhole because that is part of our princess that for the back. Okay, so now we'll come out by one inch, then we'll cut through the new armhole line. You can see. So this is the back, and there is no bust that. Okay, can you see? That is the back. All right, so this is what we have for the back. So we have successfully completed this tutorial right now. But remember that the outfit, the shift gown you are seeing there has a sleeve, a basic sleeve. 
So this is the basic sleeve right now. I already have my basic sleeve. Okay, so that is the basic sleeve I'm going to make use of. Okay, that is my sleeve. So I'll be attaching it to this outfit. So thank you very much for watching. If you find this content very helpful, please consider subscribing, turn on your notification bell, share this video to family and friends, drop your comments and notifications in the comment section. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.